How to draw pixel art with Figma, how to create NFT art with Figma. Hi guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create your own pixel art with this particular platform, Figma. So basically what you want to do is go to their site, it's figma.com. And this one is actually a collaborative design website. So it means that you'll have to create an account before trying to access this one. I've already made an account. Making an account is as easy as one, two, three. Just go ahead and sign up using any email that you are currently using of course and for this platform we'll be we'll trying to we'll try to explore how to create pixelated arts it's actually a thing over the NFT, NFT world right now um, a lot of uh, pixelated art are actually selling fast and expensive like if you're aware of crypto punks and other um, professional or I mean popular creators out there they're really really selling out fast so you can see here there are lots of things that you can choose from where to start off you can start off a new design file from scratch and that's what we want to do because of course as a beginner you really have to um yeah you really have to try and create from scratch to see how everything's going so what you want to do is to create your frame so whatever frame we're trying to make make sure that it's equal all sides because most nfts most most pixelated nfts are actually equal so let me just go ahead and try to equalize this one each size why am i not getting it right okay all right one more try this one's stressing me out you guys okay i think i got it right so we'll go ahead and use a 410 by 410 and let's set up the pixels. What pixel counts do we want to use? How many pixel counts do we want to use for this one? Um, if you want to make an easier type of NFT, go ahead and choose like smaller numbers of, um, yeah, smaller number of layers or, or boxes or pixels because that's the, the, yeah, for this one, it's like 10. Yeah, 10. I think 10 is okay. It's actually great because it shows you a grid like this one. Shows you more detailed squares for you to input your colors. So basically what we're going to do here is add layers later on. We can add layers, layer by layer if you want to. But basically it's it's just the easy way to make a pixel art by filling out this certain square. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up 32 because I think 10 is too small, you guys. So yes, 32 is pretty okay, I think. This one's doable. 32 by 32. So the sizes of each box over here should coincide with the outer box, of course. So let's go ahead and try to fill this out. Now you can choose rectangle because, yeah, rectangle or square if you want to. Basically, you just want to go ahead and try to make your own square there. It should be 32 as well because that's the size of of yeah of yeah of the grid the individual grids right there so what you want to do is place or overlay the rectangle to where it should be to where the art should be and after you actually overlay you can just go ahead and copy and paste control c control v right there and what you want to do is to do this repetitively so once you create a whole new pattern oh you can also like do that it's really cool so if you want if if you think that it's going to be useful for your nft to have like slanting lines you can also do that you cannot do this in other uh, platforms that for pixel art making like uh, what a uh, pixel art yeah you cannot really do what it does you're doing a slanting or a rhombus kind of square you can do that but for this particular platform it's easy and there's a lot of things you can do with your shape like what you saw a while ago, you can create a slanting line on top. You can make it rhombus. You can you can basically create a square with a lot of possible endless possibilities. Now let's just try to go ahead and paste it over here. So let me just paste it right here, you guys. Okay, I'll put it on top. And after actually putting on top, you can go ahead and copy multiple boxes. So when you copy multiple boxes, it's a lot more easier to work with because you're copying and pasting multiple boxes and pasting them at the same time without actually trying to copy and paste individual boxes. So let me just go ahead and try to change the color. Okay. So there's actually a color you can choose from like a color palette. And I think it's pretty neat if you want to create an NFT that has a color, 
a unified color or color in unity if that's a thing but let me just go for red i'm trying to make a cherry for this one a pixelated cherry so what you want to do is to choose a color right there just type in the color just type in the color and then choose what you want to color your rectangle okay so there you go guys it's really easy to make nft art but it takes a lot of patience if you ask me and uh, if you started you should like try to finish it but for this one it's just like a demonstration for you guys to see how it works and aside from the fill there's also a stroke a stroke feature and you can choose here the opacity of it or you can choose if it's gonna be a solid color or what okay so let's start outlining my nft right there okay all right what am i doing let me just go ahead and okay all right the color code is there now if you want to change it that just click it over here and drag to what color you want Okay, Figma, it's doing really well. It's it's great, but I think there are a lot a lot different more platforms out there that you can use to do the same thing. But uh, for this particular tutorial, it's just for Figma, and uh, I find it really uh, really convenient that you can actually copy and paste multiple pixels at the same time and then paste it somewhere else it's really helpful when you're trying to create a background or when you're coloring a certain spot okay so you can go ahead and drag the colors where you want to choose the colors if you want to so guys make sure to like uh, make the rectangle or the square um, equal with equal sides because that's what you want to do and of course the inner the small squares should also be equal so now i'm outlining the cherry i'm doing like the copy paste method which i think is not really easy okay some other platforms are like offering this just click 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 and then it'll get colored but you'll see later on that when we try to copy and paste like this one multiple multiple boxes multiple pixels you can go ahead and copy and paste them so basically this is how figma works guys when you're working with pixelated art so what do you think about figma is it worth to try or are there any more other nft platforms right there that you prefer over figma let me know down the comments below that's it for the video